One of my favorite things about the Steam Deck is how versatile it is. In fact, if you've been watching this channel, you probably know that I've recently installed Windows 11 and then even more recently, a very stripped down, very lightweight version of Windows 11 called Tiny 11 on my Steam Deck. And this has just brought me so much joy and encouragement to continue doing weird things with the Steam Deck. Many months back, I reviewed a dock for the Steam Deck by a company called JSOX. And I really enjoyed this dock. And as of late, that's how my Steam Deck has been used a lot of the time. Sitting in that dock, plugged into a monitor with a mouse and a keyboard in front of it, and even sometimes playing with an Xbox controller, basically using it like a glorified PC version of a Nintendo Switch. But in this video, I'm going to try and answer an even bigger question. How far can we push this idea? And what would it be like to plug a Steam Deck into not just sort of a 60, 70, 80, $80 dock from JSOC, which is fine. It's a, it's a fine dock. It can do a lot of great things. But what would happen if you plugged this thing into something much beefier? Something like this $150 docking station from Ugreen. Now, I've worked with Ugreen many times in the past, and they've always had really, really nice products. I've really enjoyed. I have their chargers just strewn throughout my house, and they've all been really, really good. They emailed me and said, hey, do you have any use for this? Could you make a video about this? And at first I thought, no, I don't really have any use for this at all. But then it hit me, the Steam Deck. What if this is the ultimate Steam Deck dock? We have Ethernet, we have HDMI times 2, DisplayPort times 2, we have power going, we have USB ports in the front, we have another USB-C. There's so much this thing could potentially do, so I said, yes, indeed, if you're okay with me plugging it into a Steam Deck instead of a computer, which I guess Steam Deck is a computer, send it my way and I will do my best. So as you just saw there from the quick unboxing, you saw that I was talking over the top of, this thing does look very, very nice. It is cold to the touch, which I love in electronics. It has that very metallic feel, right? It's a very premium, solid feeling piece of hardware. And like I just showed you, it is right now on sale for $149. So it's not cheap, right? So it needs to feel quite nice. But on paper, looking at the specifications and actually feeling the device, it does feel like it's going to fit the bill really, really well. So now let's kind of see what this thing is capable of. All right. So not quite done setting this up yet, but what we have here is the Steam Deck. Plugged into this dock with my Xbox controller, my mouse and keyboard, all happily plugged in. And it is now driving not one, not two, but three total displays. And as you can see here, everything's working really well, guys. This is like a pretty sick setup. I'm going to try to kind of reorganize this, though, and see if I can make it any better. As you can see in this video, I'm actually using two different portable displays that I've reviewed over the last couple of weeks. So all this needs to function is a USB-C cable going into both of those uh, both of those monitors and then a mini HDMI to HDMI going into the dock. And then the Steam Deck is plugged into that dock. And of course, the dock is plugged into the wall with another USB-C. So three total USB-Cs. The monitors need very little power, okay? They're, they're pretty easy to run. I've run them off of an external battery before, just a little battery bank. Plug all that stuff in though, and it's gonna fire straight up and work just fine. But now let's see if I can kind of reorganize things, like I said, make it look a little bit better. All right, so I've tried to kind of reorganize things a little bit to make this make a bit more sense. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like in real time. Now, what you're gonna see might be a little bit odd. Some of these lights are gonna turn off and turn back on because the thing powering this is one big brick and it has to sort of recalculate uh, all the different power deliveries that it is actually going to be doing. But then these monitors should power up, should kick in and start working here in just a moment. All right, there you go. A little bit of flickery stuff going on there. But again, that's due to the fact I'm powering all of this off of one gallium nitride charger. You could probably make this a bit smoother if you weren't doing that. But then once it's done, once it is fully set up, this is honestly really, really quite crazy. My desk is not big enough to house all of this stuff, to be perfectly honest with you. But as you can see here, it's working great. I can drag a window from one to the other to the other, all extended, all set up correctly. I have the Steam Deck there in the middle set up as the primary display simply because it's in the middle, but you can set it up however you wanted. 
As you can see here, I actually have three YouTube videos playing, a video per screen, and it is handling it just fine. They are all three running quite smoothly. Granted, we're not going past 1080p on any of these because why would you? These are all 1080p or lower panels. But my point is this. Your Steam Deck, whether it's running Windows 11 like my Steam Deck, or you're running Linux and you're in the desktop mode, you can absolutely do this. Your Steam Deck can power three monitors, and you can have this incredible workstation setup all driven by a Steam Deck thanks to that hub, which is hidden underneath that table there. And yes, my mouse and keyboard is plugged into that. My Xbox controller dongle is plugged into that and is working just fine. Just check this out, guys. We're watching a YouTube video. We're chatting on Discord. We're playing a game of Madden. Let's see if I can hit this kick off real quick with one hand on my lap. Uh, a little bit late. Playing some Madden over here. It's running just fine with all of this stuff going. Your Steam Deck is capable of so much. All you need is something like that to unlock the full potential. Now, look, I'm fully aware that this is like bordering on ridiculous, right? Because at a certain point, it might just be more like economical to just buy a computer instead of doing all this crazy nonsense I have over across the room. Because, I mean, you're looking at a Steam Deck. $400 or so, this dock is going to be about another $150, and then both those monitors probably going to run about another $150, so would that be three, four fifty? dollars that's like $850 plus tax, you're getting close to $1,000 to have this tri-monitor set up that can then be unplugged and then carried off because it's actually a handheld. Is that worth it to you? I don't necessarily know. I can't answer that question for you, but it is very, very cool and extremely impressive how well this actually works. But if you're somebody that has a Steam Deck, maybe you have an extra monitor or two, maybe you have a TV and a monitor, maybe you have some of these things already laying around, in which case $150 to be able to do this is not that big of it. It depends on where you're entering. What your barrier of entry is depends on where you're entering, duh. If you've already got the Steam Deck, you don't have to count that $400 because you've already got it. So before we wrap this thing up, I do want to point out that, of course, this thing does work on pretty much anything that it can plug into uh, desktops, laptops. It's compatible with Mac and Windows, as you can see here on the side. You can do 4K 60 Hertz, 2K 120, or 1080p 144 on two separate monitors. And of course, the pass-through of charging is 100 watts. So if you have a really high-end charger, you can pass that charging straight through. So in this instance, my Steam Deck is not draining. It's actually charging while it's doing all of this. I did mention that it has an Ethernet port on it as well. So if, again, Steam Deck, perfect sense there. If you got an Ethernet cable to plug into that dock, now suddenly it's not using Wi-Fi. Download your Steam games even faster. Overall, guys, yeah, I think this is a pretty solid product. And if you can get it for $150, that's really not bad at all. I do wish that I had more just simple USB ports because two just isn't very many, but it has so much in terms of the display stuff. You kind of have to figure out what you're prioritizing the heaviest. Of course, if you need more than two USB-A ports, they do sell very, very cheap hubs and you can do that, but that is going to start to get a little crazy looking with all the things plugged into it hanging up, but it is something you could definitely do. For me, two is really all that I need for my Steam Deck, so that's sufficient. And then if you tie in the fact that you can then have to do monitors, I still think it's pretty cool. Big shout out to you, Green, for sending this thing over for me to test. As usual, they are seeing this video at the exact same time that you are. Guys, subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.